Hey guys, it's Syndicate here, and as I'm sure you're probably aware, the new survival kind of trailer has been released for Modern Warfare 3, which is our kind of version of zombies, and because we're a big, like, horde sort of, like, community, this is going to be absolutely awesome. It looks insane, and uh, here in this video, I'll just be pointing out some of the best bits from it. I won't be playing the entire trailer. If you do want to see the entire trailer, link will be in the description to the, the actual video on Call of Duty. Okay, so first things first, what I'm going to point out is that you can clearly see there's a handgun, there's a grenade, and there seems to be like some sort of air, airplane. And um, what these are probably going to be, and I can perhaps somewhat confirm this already, and um, that the pistol will be the armory where you can buy all your weapons from, the grenade will be where you can buy your equipment, like claymores, turrets, that kind of thing, and the plane will be where you can buy your killstreak from. This will be calling in teams that will come down from the sky, AC-130s, that sort of thing, just really insane killstreaks that you can use in weaponry. Obviously they said you'd be able to upgrade it, you can also get promotions in this new like survival mode which is absolutely awesome, I'm really looking forward to that. Another cool thing here now is promotions, uh, we can get ranks by the looks of things in this new survival mode which is going to be pretty awesome, we never got something like this in zombies which would be really, really really good. There was actually a mod that was released that would give you like XP for killing zombies and would actually rank you up but they basically took all the best things and then the information that people wanted and like the features people wanted from like some sort of a zombie game mode and put it into this survival mode uh, because by the looks of we've got we've got unlockables on the right hand side extreme conditioning set sit rep steady aim they look like the uh, like the old school perks which, which they are like some are from Modern Warfare 2 some look like you know the from like, like extreme conditioning that's from COD 4 but like we'll be able to rank up unlock new things but we don't know whether or not we'll be able to you know we do a perk set up before the game starts or whether we buy all the perks in game so it, you know, how many perks will we be actually able to unlock? Um, does this go off what your rank is? So do you have a rank and then you can actually go and buy them? Uh, but it looks things you have to go to the air, like the airplane facility. Um, so like, I don't know what we're going to call that, like the perk area. Because there's a weapon armory that you could just see there. But then you have to go to the weapon armory area to buy your perks maybe. That's where you can get them from. But also where you just saw the um, equipment armory where you can buy a feature of uh, different weapons. So let's just take a look at what you can buy there. Okay, so here's the equipment armory, and what we can see, you know, the standard, you've got frag grenades, flashbangs, no stuns actually, they might be, but you know, there's not there at the moment. Claymore's times 5, C4's times 5, an auto turret, which looks like, you know, some a standard sentry gun basically, an auto grenade launcher, just an upgraded uh, sentry gun, but with grenade launcher instead. Um, I'm going to guess with them, once you, they've been overused a certain amount of time, like they would online, they'll just destroy themselves. Uh, last stand, be able to get yourself back up. I think these bottom, like these bottom few, are going to be perks maybe because if we've got last stand in there, you might be able to buy more perks. It doesn't actually look like a scrolling list, like you can go further down. But my thoughts are you might be able to go a bit further down, buy more perks, and maybe at different stations that you unlock because apparently it did say you can unlock new stations across the map. So maybe you go to a different one and it's got new perks at it. So like the perk, they are kind of like you know perk locations where you can buy certain perks from. Uh, but that looks pretty awesome. But the sh the share function that you could see below where it says you know you can pay an extra five hundred to share it maybe this is you know both of you do have the turret so it's not just one person who controls where it goes if you pay 500 then both of you can use it say you've faced the turret the wrong way and your teammate needs the turret facing you straight away he can grab it face it the other way and there you go you can take out more enemies all right so let's just take a look at the weapon armor uh standard you know refill your ammo a lot of people in, in games like survival mode you know we need more ammo, we can't just keep taking these out with just knives or something like that. So we finally got something you can refill your ammo. 750 points probably don't seem like a lot and maybe it refills all your guns because you know it does seem like you can have two guns as he's got the model 1887 owned as well as he's just about to go and buy the ACR. But when he buys the ACR he actually says, you know, he's purchased it but then it says upgrade. So once you've bought like that sort of weapon maybe you can upgrade it. It doesn't look like you can upgrade a model but um, so you upgrade the ACR and once you've upgraded that you get like an attachment on it or you know like a new sight or extra damage increase. Uh, it doesn't actually seem to show any stats, you know, be that you can actually see there. It does look like a good range, you know, like US USAS 12, that's a shotgun, uh, M16, AK47, ACR, M60. The M60 is obviously the most expensive there. Again, it doesn't look like a scroll list, so it's either that this actual um, we weapons armor doesn't have a lot of features or like new wep a lot of weapons to buy, or you've got, you know, go to, like I said before, uh, for the equipment armor, you've got to go to another place in the map to be able to buy new weapons because that, I don't think they'd just leave it to these are the only weapons you can buy. Maybe different maps have got different guns, but I'm, I'd probably say, you know, like it's it's scattered. Um, so like there's more more armories across there all over the map, you know, so you don't have to just keep going to the same location. Also, there's the share function as well in the weapons armory. Maybe this is because he's actually highlighting over the actual ammo. Maybe you pay seven you pay seven fifty for yourself and you pay another five hundred. Instead of you getting the full amount of ammo, you've shared it for your teammates, so you could just buy twice the amount. Uh, so instead of it costing you like 
1,300 is costing you 2,600 to you know get full ammo for both you and your teammate. It's a two-player thing, and that's all it seems to be at the moment. Uh, it would be good to see if they made it a four-player one, but two-player seems to be the way to go forward. Okay then, so we've got the air support armory. Okay, so it looks like a Harrier jet as the symbol, if I have to say anything. Predator missile, Delta squad, riot shield squad. Now the riot shield squad, I'm saying like, these are people that you can call into the map as you see later on in the trailers. You actually see like a helicopter arrive and they may be able to be get got shut down by the higher level enemies that are on the floor, but we don't know yet. We haven't seen like any actual proper helicopters being taken down which are on your team. We've seen enemy helicopters that come and attack you, spray you from above. Um, but you do seem to be able to take a hell of a lot of damage. Um, whether or not you can, there's a place where you can actually just increase your health, increase your armor. It does look like you do have an armored shield that maybe can repair, or you can either heal one or other. But um, yet to see whether or not you can actually repair your armor that you've got on. But two classified more things there. We're not quite sure what they are. But another thing that I'm going to share with the whole share function. Again, you know, share for 500. So if you're going to buy a Delta Squad, maybe it's <clears throat> you buying it for your partner. Because if you're going to share a like a kill streak. Like how how is that gonna totally work out? Am I gonna I'm gonna buy something for you to share? You take that, you know, use that, and then um, I won't get the kills for it. You will. Um, it depends on who needs it and who's at the box whenever. So you know, you could say, right, I'll go and buy this this next one. So I'll go spend like five thousand points buying you something, and the next time you buy it for me. So you know, it's all about teamwork. I don't think it's going against each other. It is all about teamwork. This new survival mode. Just a quick little piece from this section here, this guy throws out a purple smoke which just highlights the area of where he wants shooting and when he looks up you'll actually see the AC-130 rain down fire on where the enemies are coming from so maybe they got them trapped in a location which this could be one of the classified kill streaks that you can actually buy an AC-130 but it's good to see what the other ones are and if there are other stations what can you buy from the other stations. Okay, so we were actually told attack dogs were going to be in survival game mode and also like kamikaze attack dogs. So they're running, attack the player and say whether or they take down the player, they'll go for the next one. But by the looks of it here, they'll take down the player. If they take on him, they'll run to the next a player to take down, seeing as though there's only two. And then when they'll run towards the next one, if they don't manage to kill him, but the player manages to kill the dog, the dog will drop explosives and blow up that area. So you've got to get out of there. And as you can actually see in that little clip, the guy actually gets downed. Okay, so just from that, we know exactly what's going down here. Once we kill one of these chemical agents, they'll drop some like gas on the floor. So this is like going to Nova Six Zombies. Once you kill them, they'll d they'll go down to the floor. Then they'll some sort of explode this gas out. And probably when you walk into it, it'll be like Nova Gas. It'll knock you like knock your screen about, so you won't be able to see for like a few seconds and uh, disarrange you basically. So maybe there's a perk that you can buy, like you know, a tactical mask, which will avoid this kind of screen mess up whatever we want to call it you know messing about your screen so hopefully there's going to be a tactical mask we did kind of want this for the nova six zombies but let's hope they try and put this in for us dealing with these chemical guys Okay, I take a good long look at these guys. These guys are going to be the hardest things that I could probably say to kill in this new survival mode. Everyone dreaded them in Spec Ops Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 because they absolutely kicked your ass. They take like 10 Barrett shots to the head to kill. They were just insanely hard to kill. A good tip that I could give if anything comes off from Spec Ops mode previously is that grenade launches to the head do a lot of damage to these guys because in my experience of actually dealing with these guys, Grenade launches to the head, it was like a like a one-hit kill, honestly. When it hit him on the head, it was a one-hit kill. So if anything, I could say, if we've got any grenade launch, launcher attack, attachments and that still works, then that is the way to go about killing these guys. Also, you can see you've got riot shields, and the riot shields actually break down like really fast because they actually looks perfectly fine. But as you can see, then it actually snapped, and it just becomes useless. So maybe that's another thing that you can buy from the weaponry. Buy a riot shield, as you can have riot shield teams, you can buy a riot shield for yourself. But guys, this looks absolutely insane. I hope I've covered some stuff and shared my opinions on it it does look like good fun and um, what does this mean okay so from apart from this awesome fold-out gun that we've got as you can see there's this awesome looking mine detection system that fires up in the air um, when 402 comes walking up and this guy gets rained down fire from an AC 130 so is this some sort of detection system that alerts it's like a trip mine basically so once you trip the mine an AC 130 fires down rain on you and you just get absolutely destroyed but there's a few things that we need to point out from this image which are the following 
Number one, straight in the screen, a 14 point streak, not a kill streak, a point streak. We've got a juggernaut. That looks crazy. What does this mean? Does it mean something you can call in? Is it by the looks of things? I'd say maybe it's something you can call in, or is it you become the juggernaut? So you put it on, and it's like armoring yourself up to become some sort of like mobile beast. Um, another thing is in the bottom left-hand corner, it looks like a free, like you know when you're playing free for all or team-based objective online. Or in combat training, for example, from Black Ops, you do have a score like that because we're not currently still in survival mode. Because you can tell that by like the score, everything going on, you're not totally getting shot. So what kind of mode is this? Is this multiplayer? And if it is multiplayer, then what the hell's Juggernaut doing in here? And um, it'd be good to see. And it might just be like a combat training that you can do, which would be pretty awesome. But you know, like I'm, tr it's like you can tell by what I'm trying to get my words out. You know, there is no saying what this is actually to do. But you can see in the in the bottom left hand corner, just above where it says winning 700, it does say the person's killed 402 with an AC 130. Or that's either an AC 130 or like a, a Hellfire. Hellfire is like a Predator missile, but it's what it's fired from a, a Predator missile is fired from a Hellfire, and that is something that they were actually going to put in. Modern Warfare 2, a Hellfire drone, okay? And this might be the Hellfire drone. Now, if I'm right, this would be awesome because if you ever bought the Modern Warfare 2, a booklet that came with Modern Warfare 2 itself, um, in the book it says Hellfire drone. And in there, that tells you, you know, about what it does and like you can fi decide where it fires down. But this just looks so awesome. I can't get my words out. <laughs> but this just looks so badass, guys. And I hope you're so pumped for it as well because I'm really looking forward to this new mode, whatever this mode is, survival mode, because it is our mix of multiplayer and zombies combined together to make the most awesome game mode so if you are super pumped then don't forget to like and favorite the shit out of this video because i'm like super pumped and i really can't wait for it i know zombies is amazing i'll always stick with zombies but i will definitely be doing survival mode so i can't wait for it guys hope you can as well so i've been syndicate who's done this trailer for you, trailer kind of breakdown for you and peace out